it's kind of loud right now, but I'm here in Myeongdong. Can I see over there? I'm currently here in Myeongdong, which is a very... Uh, oh, I'm holding just holding you. <laughs> um, but I came here a few days ago. It was really dead, but today is not as dead. There's definitely more people, but shops are still very closed. I haven't vlogged in a while, so this feels a little bit foreign to me. Let, let me just give me some time to pick it back up again. But we came here because the Olive Young Flash Up store is here, so we're gonna pick some stuff up before the sale ends. And also, there's this huge jewelry store that I went to. Oh, it's this one, it's this one. Uh, this is a jewelry store I went to the other day, and it's huge. Like, huge. Look at how much there is. And it's, I think it's cheaper than the other places I've gone. Even with just hoops, there's so many different options. I actually got these here. These little dangly ones, so cute. I'm currently heading over to Olive Young, but look, there's so many more carts open today because it's the weekend. We are entering in. So the whole first floor is all skincare. Like this right here, it's all skincare. This is just rose and rose of mask. BRB, I'm gonna FaceTime my friend to see what makeup she wanted. And then this is the second floor, so it has a lot of makeup and some American brands. Ta-da! These are the Korean brands. Guys, it's a Minkyu birthday. Wow! He looks so good. Damn! The guy that you guys just saw walk past me, he had a look back was like, what the heck? When I said, damn. This is what I have in my pocket right now. Pocket basket. So this is a new Laneige like hydraulic whatever serum. But the cool thing is it's a packaging. Look. Yeah, you twist Dude. it and it pops out. And this is so cool. Do I want it because of the packaging? Yes. We just came out all of young and we're at a clothing store. It's kind of like similar to brand market, like a affordable clothing thing. But damage is done at all of young. This will be my last all of young purchase. No more buying this uh, makeup or skincare stuff afterwards. I was trying to scan to see if that worked, but it didn't. But it's also really funny that they literally made a sweater out of the vaccination or COVID vaccine. Okay, we're taking a quick snack break. I got this chicken bread egg thingy. I've been seeing it all over every time I walk, so I'm trying for the first time. It's basically an egg on top with the bread on the bottom. This is like sweet and a little salty. It's kind of like, it tastes like laosa. Do you follow up on Alright, I'm gonna do my OTD as I'm eating my little snack. Basic black top from Brand Market. New jean jacket. My favorite thing about this jean jacket is something like that. Oh, that is pretty cute. Yeah, and I wore these new slacks I got from Donde Moon Market, pair of the trusty O Air Forces. Cute. Any jewelry that you want to fly? Oh. oh, your earrings. Oh, yes. No, I already flaunted it at the oh. accessory store. Yeah. Hi, I haven't made an appearance in a while. I'm Vicky. I didn't know who you are by the point. Well, I just wanted to reiterate. <laughs> I'm Vicky. If, if you're new here, hi. Um, currently in Korea. Um, quit my job two months ago. Currently in Korea. Going ahead and back to. We're heading back next week. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> you guys look. This is so cool. So I go like this, and you just put against your face to see how you look with it. Hey guys, uh, let me catch my breath first, because we just walk up to these giant. Whoa. <laughs> Um, these giant stairs over here. You guys hear my breath? <laughs> um, but we're at this place right now. It's called Tai Gig Tong or Tai Zi Tong. And this apparently is like a very, um, I think it's either the oldest bakery in Korea or it's one of the, one of the oldest bakeries in Korea. It started in 1945. There is Vicky over there vlogging. <laughs> Entering in. Ooh. Some salty ones here. What was these? Oh, this is an assortment of cakes and a gift set. Walnut cookies. Oh, whoa, these are soft. These, whoa. This is an assortment of cookies. It's 5 p.m. right now, but a lot of stuff has been empty. This is all empty right here. Very empty. <laughs> <laughs> this is the second time doing this because I realized I was not recording. So, um, I did a little bit of damage right here. This is the bakery because they had these 
crackers, like it's kind of like sweet crackers, um, because I just thought it would be a good gift for like my parents. Actually, I don't know what flavor this is, but it has like the little um, press on it, like the imprint. So I thought it was like cool. It's kind of you know, simple, symbolic, symbolic. And this is a peanut or no? Yes, I think this is peanut. Yeah. And I also got the. Um, rice cake. This is the last one. It looked really good. And then I think this is what they're famous for. It's kind of like an ice cream sandwich, I think. I didn't give you guys a proper tour, but this is how it looks like. There's also a big cafe section over here. There's a, it stands all the way in the back that you could sit here and work. Quick taste test time. Taste test time. Try it. I think it's like a rice cake thing that they made. And then this place is known for Ah, it's yeah. ice cream. I don't know. The really She just spat on me. <laughs> she just talked and spat on me. <laughs> You're gonna spit on my face next? <laughs> it's literally an ice cream cake. It's like frozen cream, so it's not too sweet, but you taste that a little bit of that buttery, the butter taste. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, don't come to me. I just, I'm just kidding. Ah. <laughs> this is so active. All right, you guys. We got home, and we've been packing. That's my suitcase over there, and then this is the one that I'm borrowing from Vicky to go to Busan. And I have one more here. The reason why I'm vlogging right now is because... Let me set you guys down. It's because we got this. And what it is, is basically like, you know, the mochi. And it has like the big strawberry inside with like a little bit of the repping paste. It's wrapped very cutely like this. And then it's like handmade. They made it right at the stand that they have. This little bag is so cute. Um... Got off the paper towel so I don't make a mess of this. I think this is peach. So this is how it looks like. The fruit is like spilling out right there. And then the little rest of this is red bean. Mmm. It's actually not that sweet. This is dragon fruit. Dragon fruit is one of my favorite fruits. The first time I ever ate it was a buffet in Shanghai. And I was like, oh my god, this is so good. I finished half the plate. I was seven. Nice. I was the last one standing. Nice. At seven years old? Yeah. And they had crabs there, and the whole time I was like meticulously taking out the crab meat and stuff. And then our family friend was like, "Wow, Jamal really knows how to eat <laughs> from a young age." Yeah, I like mangoes, but not Yeah, this is not the greatest combination. I think this is actually my least favorite one. <gasps> There's two strawberries in here. Oh, strawberry's my favorite. We also got a little bit hungry, so we got a lot Korea, which is basically Korean's version of like. Burger King, McDonald's, stuff like that. I got a burger. I also got a cheesesteak. I got a Korean beef bulgogi burger. This looks so juicy and good. Ta-da! This is huge. Mm -hmm. I like the bulgogi sauce. I like the Asian flavor fast foods. This is the end of this vlog. This is the end of my COVID vlog. My COVID part was probably really boring. This part is probably the most exciting part because I actually went out and do this stuff. But my next vlogs coming are going to be even more exciting because I'm going to Busan and Jeju next week before I go back to America. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Hope you guys stay safe. Don't get COVID. Luckily, I didn't get like really bad symptoms, but if you guys haven't caught, caught it or you guys don't... <gasps> Oh no, it's okay. But yeah, if you guys haven't caught it, stay safe. Hope you guys don't catch it. And for those people who did catch it, hopefully your symptoms aren't too bad. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next vlog.